All right. Hi, everybody. It's been a while since we did anything with this uh, camera and that green screen all the way. For those that didn't know, uh, today at the, on the DND basement, we're going to talk about storage for transportation. You know, not everyone has uh, a game at home. Most of us have to uh, ride to the gaming store to actually have a nice place to play. So today that's what we're talking about, storage space. Alright, so first thing first, we need a box. It was obvious from the get-go, uh, we need a box to actually store our stuff. Uh, you may think that with everything you have, you may need much more than this box. And that's a conception error that everybody does. Uh, they think as, uh, as soon as I need something, I do. I have to add more stuff. Reality being, you're not moving away from home. That's the first thing you need to go for. So you're not moving away from home. So this box should be your only box that you need. If you need more than this box, something is awfully wrong with your game. Now there is a lot of ways to actually think otherwise but we'll go through everything later. So, now, how do you fill that box? The first thing you need to do for filling your box is to know what you're gonna go, what is gonna go inside it. So, the first thing that comes to mind is minis. Yes, miniatures, lots of miniatures. So, you need your miniatures that's of course that's surely go inside it so let's put more miniatures in there now the next thing you may need again is even more miniatures as you can see I have a hell of a lot of miniatures including those I did that I will show you later in another video so here I have two cases of miniatures, here's my large, the larger creature for medium sizes on the other side. So that's already two boxes that goes into that boxes, that box. But now, if I just put them there, it's gonna cause a problem because I have a lot more boxes that goes inside it, as you will see. Because I still need my tiles, I still need my stuff to actually create the, the place, the game. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take them out, or out, and I'll just place them later. So the first uh, box that will go inside here for my uh, tiles and everything is uh, this box. This here, this box here. So this box is, as you can read, is for my walls. So in here I got every walls I need. Uh, let me open that for you. There you go. So as you can see these boxes are actually magic card boxes that you can buy for about two to four dollars each. Uh, depending on where you go you can even create yourself. This is all cardboard so create one yourself if you want. You'll see later that I actually modified these boxes for some for my other stuff. So the first thing you'll see here in this box is what I need. What I need is measuring sticks because I am playing gridless. Have been for a while and I think it's just much more beautiful to play gridless. So I got my four inches and my six inches. So the first things there is here is my uh, measuring sticks. Now I got my odd walls. These are my uh, not really well made walls. I really need to do them, but for now they're gonna do. They are my uh, dungeon walls here, along with the. Uh, this is my. Uh, this is not a ladder. This is an actual wall for uh, 
cells. Got a bunch of them. I uh, got my cavern walls thanks to the M Scotty's method. Actually, quite nice a method. It actually uh, goes well. Uh, inside there, for these walls, I have other kind of walls. I have these. This is a try. I, I thought I tried something and it just didn't work out too well. Uh, they look like roots and everything, but they're perfect for uh, dungeon walls. Later dungeon walls that are underground or everything like that. So that's it for the first box. So this was the box I need. So you need walls. So walls are going inside. So walls are going inside. As you can see, it takes not much base. You can actually stack two of these up. And there's places for four of these boxes, which is actually my uh, my actual time with it. Let's go for the the next box. These boxes can be interchanged. This is for the this is my wilderness box. So in here I have uh, my cart for adventurers. I got tents for my adventures when they go outside. I got my trees. They're really jammed back. I have a hell of a lot of trees. Uh, they're actually just tree trunks. I don't think you need more than these. And I did a lot of them including my uh, bigger ones which I'm not taking out because they're taking a lot of place. Now I have uh, other stuff like here. I have this uh, small grave. I have four of them along with the uh, ruin walls so if I need some ruins I have my walls four of them actually and everything else barrels crates and everything as you can see I actually as I said you can actually create yeah, use these boxes and just create them yourself I used the double corrugated cardboard and actually separated my stuff inside so when you need trees you go there when you need the uh, Ruins, you go there, crates and everything, dance. There's a lot of stuff missing in that box, but that's what that box is for. So, this is my wilderness box. And it goes here, over. Oops. Almost uh, lost the box here. So, the next box is the dungeon box. Uh, I'm French so it's written in French but seriously this is my dungeon box and inside my dungeon box you have pillars here you have my pillars still the same uh, thing over here here you got my stairs here you got my uh, fountains pools or whatever and uh, here I got everything else. Rocks, stalagmites, and even hard terrain. You know, for uh, when I need some people to know they cannot move. This box is uh, not so full yet. I still have a lot of things that I can do with it. But for now, that's gonna be it. And this box is going to the other side. Now the final box that you need uh, is still a fourth of these boxes. This one has nothing written on it because it would be written all over it. <laughs> this is my everything else box. Let me open that for you. So here I got the um, bar that I did, kind of a bar. My doors are a hole here. All types of doors, tables, benches, uh, everything of the lights that are here. They're going here. Uh, here I got my biggest furniture. So in here I have beds, I have uh, tables. Uh, well, not really tables, but things of the sort. And I have my shelves. 
and pretty much everything else that can stack in there but that's pretty much it in here I have everything else so I have my uh, fjords I have my glitter traps everything else goes in there it's really mixed up so the goal of all of these boxes is to have a nice clean uh, way of setting up this place so as you will see here as you see here all four boxes actually stacks up and there's even again spaces around here to actually do a lot of stuff so the next thing that we put inside this box just a second before we get there uh, the first thing there's another stuff you need to know if you have more than these boxes you cannot actually push more than these four there's no rooms inside this box for more than these so if you need more than these four boxes uh, you will need to actually um, separate what you need leave home what you think that you do not need and take only what you think is necessary as for me everything fits inside this box and that's my motto everything has to fit inside that box because I'm not taking anything else with me so aside from these boxes I'm going back to the minis so here I got my two boxes of minis uh, where do I put them well I could simply put it here but this one wouldn't wouldn't inside it wouldn't go inside so what I'm gonna do is that this case I selected it actually for its width width that goes pretty well here in front of these boxes it goes really well there and it just fits so that's actually there for this and this one for my uh, next minis the width is actually right for the other side here so I have my minis fitting along with my box and that's pretty much it for these now everything that's left is everything else and by everything else I mean dices uh, pencils my actual dice tower my stuff with everything inside it and maybe a few huge minis or large minis that I'm just not having space to put everywhere else so how do you fit all that in is up to you to know so you just need to put things where they belong so there you go there you go there you go and there you go along with the uh, the other figs here if I need to there you go that's my actual box and everything is up there so that's it for my box and my transportation method uh, as again I'll tell you my motto and my motto is uh, if it doesn't fit into that box I just do not take it with me so if everything fits into that box you're fine that should be how you do it it fits into a box that's good you're good to go you're good to go so that's it for today folks so like everybody I'll tell you on YouTube uh, subscribe if you liked the video and like it if you actually liked it so yeah